हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज स्वाति देश पांडे टीचर टूडे आई बी टेकिंग फ्यू इम्पॉर्टेंट सम्स फ्रॉम फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड स्कॉलरशिप आई टी सेक्शन सी स्टूडेंट दिस इज माई थर्ड वीडियो ऑन इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड टू मोर वीडियोज सो आई सजेस्ट यू सी दैम ऑल्सो ओके सो लेट्स गो अहेड आई हैव रिटर्न फ्यू सम्स ऑन द बोर्ड द फर्स्ट वन इज कंप्लीट द सीरीज दे हैव गिवन सम नंबर्स थर्टीन फिफ्टीन नाइनटीन 27 and question mark we need to find out what which number will come in place of question mark these are the options given first observe observe the numbers numbers are gradually slowly increasing so find out the difference what is the difference to here here it is 4 here it is 8 isn't it looking at this differences anybody may think it is 2 then 4 then 8 then 16 so 27 plus 16 kitna aata hai 27 plus 16 43 nahi hai idhar so should we feel sad no apply some other logic apply something else so this is not the logic which they want us to apply they are expecting something else what is that something else Again, go back to the numbers. Why this is two only? Why this is four? Why this is eight? From where they have got these numbers? See, when they added two to this thirteen, they did not have these numbers. They had only thirteen. So from thirteen, how they have got this two? Is there any way? Yes, there is. Three minus one is two. That's why they have added two to this thirteen. They got fifteen. Again, same thing. Five minus one, four. That's why they have added four to this fifteen to get nineteen. Then nine minus one, eight. So that is the reason they have added this eight to this nineteen to get twenty-seven. So we have to do the same thing. Seven minus two, five. We need to add five to this twenty-seven to get our question mark. That is thirty-two. So our option is this. Thirty-two, third option. Isn't it interesting? Very, very easy also, isn't it? Chal, आगे बढ़ते हैं. Complete the analogy. Four is to eighteen. Six is to what? Okay. Four is to eighteen. How can I reach to eighteen with the help of four? I can do this. Four into four. So immediately I will go to sixteen. Then my job is very simple. I have to add two. Then I will get eighteen. very rational answer correct so i have to do the same thing here 6 into 4 that is 24 plus 2 26 answer is there no should we feel sad no not at all use something else okay this what we are thinking is not right so again 4 into 4 So I must do six into six, thirty-six. Then plus two, thirty-eight. Answer is there? No. Then what? Try something else. See, this is how you are supposed to do. Operations are going to be very very easy, so it won't take long time at all. Okay. So now what? Observe. So six into four, twenty-four. Then why two? Because this is half of four. So let me try that also. Half of six is three. So let me add three and see if I have one option. Yes, it is there. So what I did is right. See all what we did earlier while trying. All those were logical answers only. But those answers are not the logic which they want us to apply. Only that is the thing. You, we were not doing something wrong, right? we were doing correct only but there are so many logics so which one they want us to apply that we need to identify okay chal 26 is to 38 48 is to what what is the difference between 30 26 and 38 it is 12 plus 12 26 plus 12 is 30 Then why only 
12 they have added. Why? They had only 26 with them. So from where they have arrived at this number? 2 into 6, 12. Right? So like that we have to do. 48 plus what we will do? 4 into 8. That is 32. 8 fours are or 4 eights are 32. And 80. Yes, it is there. See, how to find out kidar se aya ye 12? That will decide whether you are going to get 2 marks or no. See, logic, again I am telling you, it is going to be very very easy. Okay, 12 kidar se aya? Find out. They had only 26. 20, it may not be 26. It may be 2 and 6, 1 1 digit. So, do the multiplication, do the addition, something. You will get the logic. Okay? That's why I tell you students, practice. As you practice, more and more practice, that will give you confidence. Okay? Because these are going to be easy. But students get confused because they are frightened. They don't know at the time of examination whether I will be able to do. Don't think about that. You practice. There are various ways with which we can play with numbers. So understand that. Okay? Don't worry. It's going to be very very easy. Chal, aage badte. Students, next sum will appear on your screen. In a shop, there are few sacks of wheat, jawar, bajra, tur, sugar. The number of sacks of sugar is twice the total number of all other sacks. All other sacks of grains are equal in number. That is, each grain has 12 sacks. Find out the total number of sacks in the shop. Very easy. Wheat, jawar, bajra, tur and sugar. These are 5 different things. And what are they saying? Sugar, number of sacks of sugar is twice, two times total of this. And each of these have equal number of sacks and that is 12. Each one is 12, 12. So addition is how much? 48. So simple. Everything is given in the sum. If this is 48 and they are saying sugar is twice, means this is 48 into 2. That is 96. What is the total? 48 plus 96. What they have asked, please keep an eye on final question. Okay? 144 sacks is the answer. Very, very easy question. Right? Chal, aage badte hai. Students, see this sum. See, these are four digit numbers and they are asking us which number will come here in place of question mark. See students, whenever there are four digit numbers, they may not be actually four digit number. Try to break them. Okay? Because we don't expect you to do big big calculations. So our job is not to trouble you at all. So try to break them. Let's try it. How to break them? That is the main thing. See here I am breaking it like this. You must have got the answer by now. 3, 4, 12. 3 into 4 is 12. 4 into 5 is 20. 2 into 5 is 10. So easy. But students see this 4 digit number and they get frightened. Don't do that. Okay. So do this here. Break them and see multiplication has to be in the last. 1 into 2 is 2. No. 2 into 0 is 0. No. 5 into 4 is 20. No. 4 into 4 is 16. Yes. This is our answer. A small multiplication has given us answer. Isn't it easy? Very, very interesting. Okay. Next sum will appear on your screen. John and Moise are standing in a row. John is at the 17th place from the beginning and 8th from the back. On the other hand, Moise is 6th from the beginning. Then what will be his position from back? Okay, first we will concentrate on John. He is 17 from beginning. He is 17. This is John. 17. Means 16 people are here. Right? And he is 8 from back. He is 
eight from back means here there are seven people, right? He is one only, John. Okay, so how many people total? Sixteen plus this John plus seven. So it is sixteen plus one seventeen. Seventeen plus seven is twenty-four. Total people are twenty-four. Now we'll go to other person, Moise. He is sixth from beginning. He is sixth from beginning. Sixth means here there are five people. Now. We want to find out his position from back. So we want to count his position from back up to this position because here he is, boys, right? So we don't want this five people. So we are just subtracting twenty-four, say five. Okay, answer is nineteen. So nineteenth will be his position. So simple, because from behind. If we exclude this five, we are going to get his position, right? So it is nineteen. Very very easy. Students, next sum will appear on your screen. In the year two thousand seventeen, the Republic Day was on Wednesday. In the same year, which day will occur on Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Jayanti? Students, you are you are supposed to know all important days. They are clearly mentioned in your book. Okay, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. See, Republic Day, you all know it is 26 January, right? And Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Jayanti is on 14th of April. If you don't know this, then you won't be able to proceed. So I suggest you read those uh, days and memorize them. All important days, okay, from Jan to December. See, Republic Day. So they have given 26 Jan. 17 as Wednesday, right? And they are asking us to find out 14th April 17. Okay, let's do it. Which months are involved? Jan, then Feb 17, then March, and then April, right? January 26 Jan they have already given. We need to start counting from 27 Jan. Till 14th April to find out how many days are this. Okay, can we do it with the help of fingers? No, we have to use smart way to do it. What is that smart way? See, Jan 26 they have given, so we are not worried about up to 1 to 26 Jan. We need to start counting from 27. So I am excluding these days which we don't want. Only five days I want of Jan. Feb, this is non leap year, so 28 days. March whole month, 31 days. April, should I write 30 year? No, I don't want to go up to 30. I want only up to 14. So 14. Add them. 78 days. Now we need to find out which week day will come here. So how many days are there in the week? Seven. So divide this by seven. Seven ones are seven, then eight. Seven ones are seven, then one. Here, remainder is very important, not the quotient. So one day after Wednesday, that is Thursday. Thursday is the answer. So easy, isn't it? Students, I have already made a video on calendar. If you Need any help as far as the concepts are concerned? Please see that. Okay, chalo. Next sum also will appear on your screen. First February two thousand sixteen was Monday. What was the day on first February two thousand ten? Okay, first February two thousand sixteen is Monday, and they are asking us to go in the past. 2010. So we need to find out first Feb 2015, then first Feb 2014, right? One one year. Twelve, eleven, and then ten. We have to go back. 
See, jumping one one year is very easy. Only thing is you have to take into consideration the leap year. Not only the leap year, you have to consider 29th Feb of leap year. Students make a mistake of just looking at leap year and they give the effect of leap year. That is jumping of two days, right? Don't do that. This is 16. From 16, we are going to 15. 29 Feb is somewhere here after 1st Feb. This is leap year. So no effect of leap year here. Only one one jump. So we are going back. So Monday se pehle kaun sa aata hai? Sunday. Then here there is no tension of leap year. 14 is one day before Sunday that is Saturday. Now here 14 to 13 Feb. I mean, uh, first Feb 13. Again, one day fri Friday. Now, here you need to be careful. Here, that 29 Feb is coming. Right? First Feb ke baad. First Feb 2012 ke baad aega. Lekin first Feb 2013 ke pehle. Somewhere here in this gap. So, because of this, the next one. Now, we are moving this way. So, next one is this. So, this will get the benefit of two jumps, two days jump. So, two days before Friday, that is Thursday and Wednesday. This is Wednesday. Now, no longer tension because leap year effect is not there now. So, Wednesday se pehle aata hai Tuesday and one day again. So, Monday. Our answer is Monday. Here, it, I was explaining so I took a little while. If you are clear about the concepts, it won't take more than 15 seconds. So fast, right? Only one one day. Over, isn't it? Okay, chalo. Aage badte. In a code language, 246 is written as 82448. How will 579 be written in the same code language? See, I have written here. 246 is written like this. I told you, whenever big, big numbers are there, try to break them. Where to break and how to break, that is intelligence test. Okay, now 246. From 246, how they have got this? Basic question. How? See, I am breaking the numbers like this. 8 is 2 into 4, these two numbers. 24 is 4 into 6. And 48 is 6 into 8 next even number means 2 ka difference right 6 into 8 is 48 let me see what I am doing is correct or wrong first what will come 5 into 7 35 then 7 into 9 that is 63 then 9 into 2 ka difference so 11 so 99 is it there? Yes. So simple. Just small multiplications and our answer is ready. So students, this is intelligence test. You have to work smartly. Work won't be difficult. Operations, multiplication, division will be very simple. Mathematical operations. But to find out that, and main thing is, if you don't get the answer in the first shot, don't lose your head or don't become sad. Let it not affect your confidence level. Okay? Be confident. There has to be something. Okay? I can just go on. You all know by now. I can just go on and on. But we have to stop somewhere. Otherwise, this video will be too big. Right? Okay students, still if you have any query, doubts, you can mention them in the comment section. I will try to answer them. Okay. Students, if you enjoy my videos, then please share them with more and more students. And in case you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I will come with the next video very, very soon. Till then, what are you supposed to do? Study well. And very important thing is, yes, enjoy studying. Bye.